If you don't like sinking cities, you're not alone. The idea of the ground beneath our feet giving way is unsettling to say the least, but understanding why it happens is crucial for finding solutions. But still want to understand why it happens, you're in the right place. This video will break down the complex phenomenon of subsidence in a way that's easy to grasp. Then this video is for you. We'll explore the causes, the effects, and what can be done to mitigate this growing problem. Subsidence. It's a fancy word for land sinking. This isn't just a minor inconvenience, it can have serious implications for infrastructure and safety. And it's happening in some of the biggest cities in the US, from New York to Los Angeles and Houston, the ground is slowly but surely sinking. But what's causing it? The reasons are varied and complex, but one of the biggest culprits is groundwater extraction. Well, one big culprit is groundwater extraction. When we pump water out of the ground faster than it can be replenished, the land above starts to settle and sink. Picture it like a sponge. When you squeeze all the water out of a sponge, it shrinks. The same thing happens to the ground when groundwater is removed. When you suck all the water out, the ground loses its support and starts to sink. The ground starts to sink. This can lead to cracks in the earth, which can damage buildings and infrastructure. Other factors include oil and gas extraction, which can also cause the ground to sink. When oil and gas are removed, the empty spaces left behind can lead to subsidence, tectonic activity, and even the weight of buildings on soft soils. These factors can all contribute to the ground sinking over time. Take Texas, for example. The state is experiencing significant subsidence due to a combination of these factors. Cities like Dallas and Houston are sinking up to 10 millimeters per year. This might not sound like much, but it can have a big impact over time. That might not sound like much, but when you consider the cumulative effect over years and decades, it becomes a significant issue. But over time, it adds up. The gradual sinking can lead to major problems for city infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and buildings. And it's not just an American problem. Subsidence is a global issue that affects many countries around the world. Vancouver, Canada, could face similar issues due to seismic activity, which can exacerbate subsidence, soil compaction, and sea level rise. These factors can all contribute to the ground sinking in urban areas. Even groundwater pumping in Ontario is a concern. The province relies heavily on groundwater, and overextraction could lead to subsidence. So, what's the big deal? Why should we care about subsidence? Subsidence can lead to increased flooding as lower ground levels are more prone to water accumulation, cracked buildings and unstable infrastructure. This can make homes and other structures unsafe to live in. And often the damage is subtle until it's too late. Small cracks can turn into major structural issues if not addressed in time. The good news? We can take action. Better groundwater management, stricter zoning regulations,